Who knew there's SJWs in Italy? Apparently I didn't. I am Mecca. We have SJWs in Italy that have issues with statues. Statue, like, aren't you the birthplace of statues with, uh, like, offense, quote unquote, a questionable or offensive? I mean, basically, statues of people. Just statues of people. People, the way that they were born, only, you know, just for artistic and anatomical and aesthetic. I don't know what's so wrong about that. I mean, what? We got the, we got pretty much every statue in Rome has something. So, so they're offended by the least offensive statue in Italy, apparently. I should bring Rob on for this one. Rob, are you around? Do you want to come on for this one? A Stalin, Italian statue of scantily clad worker draws controversy and offense to women. Oh, okay. So it's okay for like the male statues then, but she's not even nude. She's <laughs> she has a dress on. I mean, he is saluting. He is, he is pledging his allegiance to the statue. Can we see the front of it? I don't know. What's the front like? I don't want the art news. No, thank you. The latest public monument to draw bitter, a bitter outcry is a, a suggestive statue of a female field worker in Italy, which was accused of promoting isms and phobias. Well, why? She's giving you a glare. She's like, what are you looking at? What are you, are you looking at my, no, you're not looking there. No, you're not looking at that. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> he says, hold on. Cause see, you've been to Italy and you know, you'll know exactly what type of statues are there to know if this is offensive or not. The bronze statue, which depicts a young woman wearing a transparent body hugging dress. How do you know it's transparent? It's copper colored. It might be yellow for all you know. It might be blue. You just can't tell. Body hu it's bo it is body hugging. It was presented in Saturday at a ceremony attended by a mostly male audience, including former Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte in the city of Sapri in Italy's southern Campania. Re oh, I'm going to have Rob read this. I'm going to have him read this. He speaks, he speaks Italian. <laughs> See, now I need to bring in my bracket. Let's learn to talk Italian. Lesson one. So you've been to Italy. Yes. You want to be in on Italy. camera? I was in Italy in, Italy in 2012. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, just, in, just so you know something, a little bit something about Italy. They, um. They have statues there, right? They have statues there, but they also elected a man to be prime minister who did the giggity with uh, people that were not of legal age mm. and who, who did it for money. Ah. Yeah, B Berlusconi, Silvio Berlusconi. And they vote, they elected prime minister twice. <laughs> <laughs> so not the most uh, morally. Uh... They were like, well, this, some people voted, I'm like, well, yeah, what's the big deal? I'm like, <laughs> he actually... You just call it bunga bunga parties. So now you've it's been statues. to Italy. Now you've been to yes. Italy, right? Yes, yes, I have. Now you've seen statues in Italy. Yes, I have. What do they I look like? Me. I went to the Vatican uh, Museum, actually. Okay, so what do statues in Italy look like? Like that. Only more. So they're accusing the statue of being transparent when you can't tell if it is or not. Uh, it's, you really can't tell. I mean, yeah, it, you, I mean, it does. Listen. It's a little the, clingy, I can tell. But she clingy. knows she's clingy. Yeah. She wore it on purpose. And that's why she's like, Looks. are you looking at me? Because she just she wore yeah. it to, to provoke you into fighting so she could slap you. This is this is in a nutshell what Italy is like. They love style over over everything. They love, they love everything that's stylish, anything glamorous. Everybody in Italy want, you know, the way they drive, everybody wants to be a, an F1 racer. And they drive like it, you know, because it's it's glamorous. It's, you know, everybody wants to be a rock star. You know, anything that's glamour or style or flair like that. That's what they, they gravitate. And, and quite frankly, it's it's... Without that, it, the world would be a lot boring place, you know? 
I mean, look, if, if this was of a dumpy little woman, you know, <laughs> would, would you really would you, you really want to look mm. at this statue? No, they they did that as a hey, you can go and look at this. It's it's why they what was the statue where the bulge is shiny? I don't remember. Do you remember, I, I or was that, that. Uh, a mummy or something? I think I know what you're the... talking about, but I don't. I don't remember it. Yeah, yeah. So, or or even um, it, it's like a feature. It's like you go to you go to Caesar's Palace in Vegas. They have full on, you know, the Cleopatra bar. You probably can't even show pictures of the Cleopatra bar no, no. because it's the girl with the, she's topless, but it's like the the front of the ship. Of Cleopatra's barge, you know, because that's yeah. how the art was in Europe, and you know, and 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 you go into there, and and then the Caesar statue, you know, you you rub his finger for good luck, and that's all shiny too. That's another one. Um, yeah. But was it Jim Morrison's statue? Was it Jim Morrison's statue? They were rubbing his bulge. I think. So. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. might have been Jim Morrison. That was it. And. There's or his tombstone or something. It, uh... Up in, up until uh, up until the <laughs> late sixties, when um, a madman attacked it, uh, you used to go and you used to rub the foot of La Pietà, hmm. and you know, and if you actually look at the statues in the Vatican Art Museum, the the religious figures they're actually very very beautiful because they believe in divinity. There is perfection and beauty, and you know, m the, you look at Mary holding Jesus. I'm like, wow, she looks way too young to have a son that's th thirty three years old. But again, you know, but that's the aesthetic, though. Every, like I said, everything is very beautiful and and stylish and glamorous. That's just the Italian way. Alfa Romeo, they don't make good cars, but damn, they sure do look good. <laughs> so anybody, if I think I think this will increase tourism no. in this little no, in this little nobody's, area. No, but trust me when I say this, nobody in Italy is going to be offended by this. No. Yeah, and if they are offended, they're probably American. <laughs> On behalf of. Uh, I mean, like, I, I, you have the statue of David in Caesar's Palace, and it's a re recreation. We never did find it when we went out there, because I, I don't know if they moved it, maybe. Well, hang and, on. It's, it's, and, it's, and it's worse than this, let's just say. And I don't think I well, can show I call, it. Um, an Italian politician, Laura Boldrini, called the statue an offense to women in the history it should celebrate asking in Italian on Twitter, how can even institutions accept the representation of a woman as a Oh, fuck off. Body? I want to look like her. Stefano. Pretend Stefano. I look like that. Just imagine I do. <laughs> Stefano defended the work, writing on Facebook that if he had been afforded full creative liberty on his design, the statue would have been completely naked. <laughs> simply, simply because I am a lover of the human body. That's my kind of artist. <laughs> He added that it was useless to offer explanations for the artwork <laughs> to critics who absolutely want to s see <laughs> depravity. <laughs> Antonio Gentile, mayor of Sapri, said in a statement that throughout the review process, nobody has criticized or distorted the work of art. <laughs> see? What did I tell you? That's what they... Listen, I, I can say you can say what you want. Listen, like I said, there is and there, there is great passion in in, in uh, for for that kind of thing in, in Italy. It really is. Mm. The row over Stefano's uh, Stefano's statue is reminiscent of one of the most polarizing works of 2020. A monument to 18th century women rights activist Mary Wollstonecraft often dubbed the Mother of Feminism installed in North London. The silver sculpture drew criticism and ridicule from many who questioned its inclusion of a slim, naked female figure. The campaign to commission the sculpture called Mary on the Green wrote on its website that the naked woman represents an every woman that emerges out of organic matter almost like a bird. Mm. So don't criticize art, people. It's <laughs> art. It's art. It's art. Look, no, that's not filth. That's art. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys think? Filth or See, art? I just say she looks like she's going to slap him anyway with that expression. Yeah. See, don't ever say we're not highbrow on this channel. <laughs> I'm not highbrow. Am I me? I'm not highbrow. No, Holy I'm, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give, I'm trying to yeah, go, have us go up scales. <laughs> <laughs> that's on your channel. I am Mecca. I'm going back to my live chat. And I'm Rob, and I'm out of words. You're canceled.
I'm canceled. Yes. Oh, you're just canceled. Yes. Get out of here. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Is this too grindy or not grindy enough?